Hi, welcome to C Sharp Code Examples. In this video, we'll be taking a look at this basic antivirus that functions like this. You're going to browse for a file, it's going to scan it, and it's going to tell you whether it's infected or not. Now we're going to do this file as well. Let's see that was clean. All right, let's get started. So I've taken the liberty to create a Windows Forms application, and we're going to be changing a few of the properties. So for instance, we're going to be changing, we don't need to change the name because that's not important. We need to change the text up top. We do so by going down to the properties, down to the bottom right. You can see the, prop, the properties window right here and find the text. Basic AV for uh, antivirus. I'm actually gonna capitalize to B. There we go. And we're gonna resize the window just a little bit. That looks fine to me. We're going to be adding two text boxes. So let's just go into the, the toolbox and drag and drop two of them. That's a context menu strip, my bad. Text box, perfect. We also need a button. What else do we need? We need three labels. So one, two, and three. And we also need a menu strip. Let's just click that and add it on top. We can start by fixing the menu strip. So let's type at the bottom, top right, file. And then we're going to have a feature where we can browse for a file. I can't spell, browse, <laughs> there we go. And we're also going to be able to exit the application from here. Now for the button, we're going to change the text. So remember the properties window down at the bottom right. Let's change the text to, let's see, scan. We also need to change one of the labels to uh, file. One is going to be MD5. And the third one is going to be status, oops, status NA, so not available. Because we, we don't have a status available for the user to read just yet. All right, there we go. Everything's positioned nicely. We also need to change the, the name of the text boxes so we can easily identify them once we start coding. So I'm going to start with the first one. Name it TB for text box and file path. Let's do, let's do TB file path because that's going to contain the file path. And then TBMD5, TBMD5. Perfect. Now we want to get to the event handler of the button. So double click the button. And we're going to create uh, a few helper methods. We should have renamed the button as well, but that's a bit too late now. We can't fix it, but let's not get into it right now. So what you're going to want to do now is you want to create the helper method. So let's start by creating a uh, public string. We can actually make it protected, but let's keep it public for now. Get MD5 from file. And it's going to take a parameter, so let's pass it a, a file path. So let's do file path. Perfect. Now we also want to use the using statement, and we're going to be using the MD5. So equals MD5 dot create. Let's import that real quick. Create. We just imported the the system security crypto cryptography namespace so that we get access to all of its uh, functions. So uh, now that we've created that, we, we are going to create a nested using statement. So another using in here to so stream equals a file. Let's see, there we go. We get our import uh, using system.io. Here we go, file dot open read and then we're going to pass the file pass because that's where we're going to be reading from as you can see we have an error right now that says not all code pass return a value that's because our method here expects us to return a string so we're actually going to return bit converter. Now, if you hover over this, you can see that it converts base data types to an array of bytes or vice versa. So we're going to be using that to string. Now we want to get, uh, we, we want to get the stream. So uh, let's do MD5 compute hash. I want to get the stream. 
Perfect. And then we also want to, because it's going to. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate this real quick. We also want to double click this browse right here because that's where we're going to. We're going to se select the file. Also, you can see that I misspelled this thing, but that's fine. So we want to uh, create a open file dialog. We want to create a new instance of the open file dialog. So OFD equals new open file dialog. Now we want to filter the file dialog through text files. So OFD dot filter equals you don't have to filter because it's just not necessary but i'm going to do it for this example text files star.txt which means everything with the txt extension and uh, let's see if of the of the here we go of the dot show dialog equals dialog result OK, which means if we press OK, once the open file dialog comes up, we want to then set the MD5 text box text to OFD.file name. Perfect. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to be using this help method right here. So get MD5, and then we're going to be passing the OFD.file name. Perfect. Now, I, uh, why we did it this way, the compute hash, and uh, we need to add a few things, but the things I want to add, I it's going to be hard to explain without a visual representation. So let's go ahead and show you that first. Now, if I press browse and select this file for instance, you can see that it has all of the lines in between. We don't want to show those lines and we also want to convert everything to lower. So let's go ahead. Let's start off by fixing this to begin with. We want to replace and we want to replace that character with that nothing. So string dot empty. Perfect. And now we just convert everything to lower. So to lower. Perfect. That's going to convert every single character to lower or it, it's going to return a copy of the string converted to lower case technically. So now if we do this same same thing select the same file as you can see we get a much cleaner version of the md5 hash now what's so important about the md5 hash see every file has a unique uh, md5 hash you can look at it as a barcode on a product at the store right you scan it and then it says what kind of product it is etc etc every every file on the computer has a unique md5 hash so we're actually going to get on this website right here. It's called virusshare.com and here you can find a whole lot of addresses or well MD5 hashes. So if we just click any of these, like 222 for instance, you can see all of these are identified viruses, which are the, the MD5 of the virus itself. So let's copy this and get it get back to our project. And we're actually going to right click open folder in file explorer bin debug new text file md5 base let's open this file real quick and we're actually going to paste everything in here and control s perfect now we also we're going to drag this into the project itself there we go and let's see we have it in here it contains all of it. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually double clicking the scan so we get back to this again. We need to put all of those into a string array. That's where we're going to be storing all of them so we can compare it later. All right, so let's call it, uh, let's see, MD5 signatures. And we're, go we're going to do file, read all lines, because we want to read all the lines and store it in the, in the string array itself. And we're going to be reading from md5base.txt because that's what we call the file. Perfect. This is the scan button. Perfect. So if md5 sig. See, I don't like your resharper sometimes. md5 signatures contains. 
and we want to check if it contains whatever's in the, the MD5 text box, right? So tbmd5 text. And then if it contains, we're actually going to remove these because it's only going to be one line. If it does contain it, we're going to set the LBL. Did we, we didn't name. See, this is why we need to name our controls. This right here. LBL status. Perfect. So LBL status, the text, we're going to set it to infected. Perfect. That's if the if it finds the MD5 hash that we just scanned in the list right here, then it's going to be like, oh, it's an infected MD5, right? And else, if it doesn't find it, we're going to assume that it's clean. This doesn't mean by any chance that it's clean for sure. It's just that it hasn't been posted in that list. So LBL status text equals clean. Now, this application is going to be very useful because we only have one list. You could import as many lists as you want. You could get all the lists from virus share if you wanted to. That's totally up to you. Now, let's try this out. Let's first browse the file. This one, as you can see, we have the MD5. We're actually going to copy the MD5. Scan, as you can see, it's clean. That's because it didn't find it. Now, if we get in, which one is it? It's this one bin debug md5 base if we just cut paste the md5 of the file we just scanned anywhere in here let's put it like down here Control s for saving and then we start it and then we try to scan the exact same file scan as you can see it now says infected and if i were to scan this one for example it says clean because this is a different md5 i almost forgot to record this part as well so Let's say if it's infected, then we also want to set the, the text color to red. So we're actually going to put this in the brackets right here. In a code block, as it's called. LBL, oops, LB, LBL status, that color, for color actually, equals color. And then, not empty, green. We're just going to put it as that green works perfectly. Now we're going to do pretty much the same thing here, but instead of... Wait, no, that's if it's infected. It's not going to be green. If it's infected, it's going to be red. Red. Green would make much sense. And we want to do this. Just move it up, up here. And then LB, LBL status color for color equals... Let's see. Color dot green. Now let's try this out again. Let's file browse text document scan as you can see it says infected file browse with this one clean perfect now also the exit as you can see it doesn't function we just we were gonna code that function real quick double click that and application exit and that's literally it file exit perfect thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was somewhat educational i'll see you in the next one